What's up everyone, Hippo TC here, and in today's video, I'm going to cover everything you need to know as a beginner player in this amazing game called Rogue Company. So with that being said, let's just jump right into it. There are four main things I want you to focus on as a beginner player in Rogue Company. Learning the rogues, learning the maps, learning the perks, and last but not least, learning the weapons. Learning these will be vital for your success and foundational for you as a new player. Before we jump into it though, I wanna quickly cover some of the basics for this game if you've never played it before. Rogue Company features objective-based game modes and a ton of various maps. Each match has multiple rounds and in the beginning of each round starts with your teams in an aircraft before skydiving down into the map. Between rounds, you may use money earned from taking out enemy players, completing the various tasks and objectives, or even reviving your teammates can earn you money. This money can be used to buy and upgrade weapons, perks, and equipment. Now that we've covered some of the basics for the game, let's talk about the rogues. One of the best things about Rogue Company is the balance between each of the rogues, their passive abilities and special abilities, and of course, their weapons. Each rogue brings something special to your team, and as a new player, you're going to want to find the rogue that best complements your playing style. The rogue classes are defined as this. Defenders, Breachers, Duelist, Intel, Snipers, and Support. Knowing the type of player that you are is going to let you know what type of classes you're gonna focus on. For example, I love getting into the fight and making quick plays. The duelist class really complements my playing style. So when I play, I'm usually Ronin or another duelist. However, one of you might play a little bit differently and want a different class to try out. And that's one of the things I love about Rogue Company is all the classes are so different and complement each other so well in so many different ways. So find the class that you like, find a rogue that you like, and try them out. Now that we have covered the rogues a bit, let's talk about the importance of learning maps. Now in any tactical shooter, one of the most important things you can do is learn the maps. Learning the maps can make all the difference and honestly, this is something that only comes with time. When I say learning the maps, I am meaning something beyond just the simple layout of the map too. I'm talking about learning the common spots where people tend to run to first. If you're up against a good player, they tend to play and run certain ways and paths. If you're versing some newer players, they tend to do certain things as well. Having this knowledge takes time and understanding this is a technique that you can develop. The more you play the game, the more you are going to learn the maps. But again, what I really want you to take away from this point is the technique of learning more than just the simple layout. Now let's talk about the perks. And there is a lot of them. So get ready for some more information. You can purchase perks in the store while in a game and aboard the aircraft before the start of each round. Each row can pick between six perks available to them and each perk gives special abilities to that rogue. The way I like to look at perks are in three tier system. Tier three perks cost 4,000, tier two perks cost 6,500, and tier one perks cost 10,000. Here are all the tier three perks that cost you 4,000 to purchase. Shredder rounds deal more damage to equipment and carry more ammunition. Berserker gains the ability to reload while sprinting. Cloaked, you become immune to being revealed by enemies. Padded steps silence the sound of your footsteps when not sprinting. Evade after being damaged increases movement speed for a short duration. Here are the tier two perks that cost 6,500. Helping hand, revive teammates faster. Tenacity, take reduced damage from explosives. Stalker, removes aim down sight movement speed penalty. Bounce Back reduces your health regeneration delay, and Nimble Hands increases weapon swap and reload speed. And finally, we have the top perks, the tier 1 perks that cost you 10,000. Life Drain, downing an enemy heals for a significant amount over a short duration. Headstrong, gain an additional 25 armor. Lifeline, provide teammates significantly faster and start their health regeneration immediately. 
replenish. Downing an enemy reloads your currently equipped weapon and restores ammunition. And last but not least, track rounds. Damaging an enemy with a firearm will reveal them to your team. The last thing I want to talk to you about is the weapons and honestly there is just too much to cover in this one video but with that being said I have put together a really in-depth spreadsheet that you can use that will help you understand the damage the range and the various things about each weapon in the game I've put that link in the description below and I'm working on a video dedicated to weapons in Rogue Company so definitely keep an eye out for that. For now, just take a look at the spreadsheet and one of the great things Rogue Company has is this mode called Shooting Range that you can load into and test out guns to see how they play. Also, if there's anything else on this spreadsheet that you would like to see, please let me know in the comments below and I will do my best to get that added. If you found this video helpful, please consider hitting that subscribe button and you can also click the notification bell so you never miss a new video. You can also jump over to my Twitch channel where I stream every day, Monday through Friday and Rogue Company is one of the games that I play. So you can jump over there, check out the channel and ask any questions that you might have about the game. Thanks for watching everyone. Let me know who your favorite Rogue is and why in the comments below and I'll definitely check that out and read that. Something I like to do is read the comments on youtube videos so please take some time let me know what rogue you like and why they are your favorite and with that being said i hope to see you in the arena oh my god oh. clip it freaking clip